<laughs> Here we go. Five. Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. My name's Aaron. And I'm Jose. And we're the Board Game Brothers. And on this episode of the ABC of the Board Gaming, we're going to be talking about Everdell. Yes. So, this game is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I feel like I should let you talk about it, because you saw it first before me. That's true. It's funny, because yeah. uh, a friend of ours had kickstarted it and had, like, the special edition, mm-hmm. collector's edition one, like, right when it was released, uh, before they kickstarted the second for the ex- the expansion for Pearlbrook, mm-hmm. and I hadn't even played it yet. I just saw the box. I was like, <laughs> that looks really cool. I want it. <laughs> and uh, I was already, like, when they announced the expansion and they were getting ready to kickstart it. I jumped in on it, got the collector's edition mm-hmm. for that one too, and everything was ready to come. And I just really like that theming of like the little uh-huh. critters and like mice and like yeah. squirrels and stuff trying to build a town. And that's what this game is. You're gathered around the Ever Tree and mm-hmm. you're all trying to build your own city. So it's a tableau building mm-hmm. game. Everyone has a city space of 15 cards that you can play. And there's other things that can mm-hmm. change that, but mm-hmm. it's 15 cards basically for your city. And there's a worker placement mechanics in it, and you put your little workers everywhere to gain little resources, which are cool since you're little critters. You can get little twigs and pebbles yeah. and resin and berries to feed uh-huh. and make your workers and stuff. And it has that chain of mechanic with the tableaus where mm-hmm. if you have that certain building, you can play that worker to occupy it or mm-hmm. the, like the innkeeper at the shopkeep or something like that. Like uh, the farm can get mm-hmm. the husband for free. Or play the wife, and just depending how you do yeah. it. And yeah, it's really cool. Just like all the artwork on the cards and the way you can place your workers. It's just a really pretty, beautiful mm-hmm. looking game. On And even the tree that holds the, all the cards, it's like this 3D tree that houses the deck mm-hmm. and has extra special events on it and your extra workers when you go from season to season, <laughs> which is cool because you only start with three workers at the beginning. Yeah. And or so just two, two workers. workers. Oh, it is yeah, two workers. Two. So yeah. just two and it feels yeah. like you don't have enough to do at the yeah. beginning because you don't have anything you have yeah. to gain some resources but once it starts rolling and you go progress through the seasons uh-huh. your combos start happening and turns last longer and you're doing all this stuff and your city <laughs> gets bigger and it's like whoa yeah it does like you're saying it does really feel like restrictive in the beginning where it's like I only have two workers to place to get resources, and if someone goes before me and takes that spot to give me the extra berries to play my person, I feel like I can't do anything. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it feels crazy restrictive for like, okay, the first, because uh, it's over four seasons, you're already in one season, right? Mm-hmm. I forgot which season you started. The end of winter. The end of winter. Year, okay. Pretty much, yeah. So the end of winter, and then you go into uh, spring, summer, and fall. Mm-hmm. So within those four wow. seasons. Oh, autumn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Why? That's weird. It should be fall. Right, that's, just, that's how it's on the point. <laughs> but it just feels like in that first season, you do like two or three things, you're like, I have to go to the next season, so a quarter of my seasons are over. But you get more workers, <laughs> and you get more cards that you can chain into uh-huh. and different things, that by the time you get to the last season, it lasts a lot longer. You have yeah. so much, you have six workers to place total, and you have so many cards that give you so many effects that they'll let you play stuff for free or get other different mm-hmm. things happening. And it just, it does feel like, like the last season, you have so much you can do. Yeah. Even though it feels super restrictive in the beginning, you have so many options. And I feel like that's end. everyone's impression every time I've taught it to somebody mm-hmm. too, somebody new. They, at the beginning, like you're saying, because there's, you don't have anything, you only have a few workers, they think, well, this game's going to be over like uh-huh. in a half hour. It's going to be like really short. I'm like, oh, it seems that way, but once it gets going, <laughs> yeah. you'll see. Yeah. But yeah, like you're saying, I really like the artwork, the whole theming. I don't know if some people are put off by like cute little fairy tale critters but no i feel like animals i really like kind of like with mice and mystics yeah or uh, other games that just have themes of like fantasy fantasy plus plus like the little woodland creatures Uh it's just really cool like uh i don't know just seeing the little birds and the cards or like little mice or rabbits and hedgehogs and and different things and they're drawn really good also yeah i really (laughs) like the artwork yeah like all the cards look really beautiful Mm -hmm. and with all the effects and stuff that they do, and, it, and all the effects make sense too. Yeah. Like, like you have a little hedgehog doctor, and he does things with the berries because he's like <laughs> basically healing people, and you get points for that. So it's, uh-huh. it's all everything's giving you points too. It's really cool. Yeah, and um, there's there's not too much player interaction. There's a some, little bit, but yeah. not too much. You're mostly focusing in your city, yeah. and trying to get as many points as you can into your own city. The other cool thing about this game is. Uh, we played it wrong for a while. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but after we played it right, <laughs> it. it you have your own uh, your hand, hand of cards. cards, which could be up to eight cards. But there's also a meadow that holds eight cards face up uh, in, on the table mm-hmm. that everybody has access to. So if you see a card out there, you can always just play it if you have the cost. Yeah. So it's like a 
collective hand that anybody can play the from. Common pool, yeah. yeah, and it, it just makes it more options for you, but at the same time, you don't want anyone else to take it, uh-huh. so you are kind of like, I need to get that before someone else. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I like that. That gives you more stuff that mm-hmm. you can do. I was worried, too, with the size of the deck that we weren't going to see all the oh, cards. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're <laughs> never going to go through all those, but there's enough draw power, especially with certain force variable yeah. powers that you can go to. Um, with that, and with just abilities on characters, mm-hmm. there's ways to just draw so many cards, so... You're gonna see all the cards, and we've always shuffled through. We've always gone through the whole every deck. time so yeah. far. So yeah, there's you don't have to worry about not seeing a card or wondering yeah. if it's been played or it's, it's gonna be there. You're gonna see it, unless someone just ditched it to the graveyard mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, I was waiting for that and it's gone. That's the other thing I like. Uh, on the cards themselves, they have a little uh, on like mm-hmm. a little tree spot of the card. There's little notches to show how many copies of that card are in so the you deck. You know whether to wait for it or not. Yeah, and I like it. that. There's not. A one copy per deck card. Yeah, everyone yeah. has an equal chance to get all the there's, things. The and... the least amount is two. Like mm-hmm. the really strong cards, there's only two of. Like the king but and the there's queen. but there's not just one. Because mm-hmm. I feel like in some games, if someone's like, oh, I drew the broken card and I'm yeah. gonna play it, it's like, oh. But this one is like, even if someone plays it, and usually all those cards are unique, yeah. they won't be able to play it Another again. One, right? And there's a second one floating around somewhere. And like you said, since we go through the whole deck, someone will see it, mm-hmm. and so it's a chance that not just one person has that card. And I really like that they did that too because. Games that do have like a one copy per deck mm-hmm. thing, like any like a deck builder thing, where uh-huh. it's only that card, you're like, oh, you just got the broken card, yeah. like you're saying, and it's <laughs> over. Like, what are we gonna do against that? Um, even in those games when they have that, I feel like there are other broken cards, so mm-hmm. it's like people have a way to battle it. Mm-hmm. But this one, because there are still multiple copies of really strong cards, mm-hmm. variable or not variable, multiple people can yeah. benefit from yeah. having this strong ability. So it's cool that they have those extra cards. Yeah, and like you're saying. Uh... The, the way you set up the game, uh, it's always the same deck of cards. You're going to go through it. You're going to see everything. But you, it's still uh, variable how you set the it up. The replayability, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the replayability is high because even though... There's forest there's, locations. Yeah, there's Aside different... from the basic locations yeah. that you can go to gain resources, the forest locations, there's four of them. Well, depending on how many yeah. players you play with, there's up to four. And those ones are shuffled from a deck of, I forgot how many, there's a good it's amount a good of amount. cards. It's a good amount. Where there can be different things where it's like, oh, this game, we have a whole bunch of berries on the board because yeah. we got the thing that gives you three berries. And other times, there's no berries in the forest. Uh-huh. So then it feels real restrictive. And so the basic forest area that has berries is super important now because you have another way to collect berries. Mm-hmm. So it does change it up a lot. Yeah. the Those spots and with the goals mm-hmm. that are also have a good amount of different Special ones events, that you can yeah. get. Yeah. I feel like there's enough variability in the game that each time you play, it's like I need this combination this time uh-huh. or oh last time we were able to get so many berries and play critters and now the we have so much wood to build structures and it's going to be hard to play critters yeah. and I don't know it's just really cool <laughs> yeah it's a really fun game yeah. especially if you like playing with cards uh-huh. <laughs> I feel like coming from like having played trading card games before uh-huh. when we were younger it, it's that same feel where like oh I played the combo and I did this and that uh-huh. oh I got this other card and just <laughs> like link them together and they can share the same space oh it doesn't take multiple spaces yeah. in my city so <laughs> Yeah, it just feels really fun to play the cards and activate abilities and just fill up your city and get all those points. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a really fun game. Yeah, Everdell. Definitely check it out. It's a super fun tableau building worker placement game that's yeah. not super heavy. And yeah, really enjoyable for everybody. Yeah, I want to play it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.